the year, sex tourists return to this island. Here, they are immune from punishment for sexual offenses they commit against children abroad. A land where there's no law to prosecute them for the cruelty they inflict on the young victims. Where is this island? You are living on it. Who can tell me? Hands up. Nine times eight. Sally, do you know the answer? Uh. <laughs> Shush. No. Sally, you're not eating again. What's wrong? I'm fine. Can I go now? The alarm that always wakes you. The face you always pull. The cereal you never finish. The girlfriend you kiss goodbye. The road you've lived on for years. The car that never moves. The shop that's always open. The kids on the school run. The door you see too late. The lamppost you slam into. The legs you'll never use again. The day you went to work. Like most victims, Julie knew her killer. It was her son, who was sitting behind her without a seatbelt. After crushing her to death, he sat back down.
Shaking a baby can cause brain damage. Before you cross that line, stop. Full stop. Don't go out to kill anybody. Never go out with the intention of saying, and say to yourself, oh, today I'm going to run down a pedestrian. A few beers with the friends. Bang. Seeing the head come through the windscreen again. Vividly, like it's there today now. I mean, the fact that I am the cause of it, I can't take that back. but it doesn't change the fact uh, I've become a killer. natural-born smoker will have a larger nose to filter out impurities. Self-cleaning lungs. A highly developed index and middle finger. Smaller ears because they don't listen. extra eyelids to protect the eye from irritating smoke. And of course, an inbuilt resistance to heart disease, lung cancer, and thrombosis. Unfortunately, the first natural born smoker hasn't yet been born. What she was on about this kid about it? Oh, I don't know. I said to her last week, I said, you know, you won't too much about Stephen. He's leaving school next year, that's him sorting out. Yeah, well, that's her look at, it? Should have been stricter with him at the right time. Yeah, well, you're too strict, you know. Not strict, I'm fair. Not out giving any arms, is it? Yeah, we can't hold kids back, though. 
not saying hold him back. I'm saying there's such a thing as discipline. Fair discipline. Oh, I still say he got to a line. Anyway, where is Kevin this afternoon? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think he said he was going around to see Stephen. Yeah, that's another thing I don't like either. Them playing together. There's enough kids round here judging by the route the weekend. Jim! If your child was killed or badly injured in a firework accident like this, you'd probably blame the parents of the other children. But your children are your responsibility. Make sure yours aren't meddling with fireworks this bonfire night. Spots, rotten teeth, depression, anxiety attacks, personality changes, paranoia. Take speed, echi or acid and you can develop any of them. Somewhere in this vast place, there's a small group of islands known as the Faroe Islands. No one knows why, but once a year, large groups of pilot whales return here. The islanders look forward to their visit each year and prepare a special homecoming for them. First of all, they herd the whales into the harbour. Then they harpoon them. And then cut them up with hunting knives while they're still alive. The noise you can hear is the whale screaming as it experiences this horrific death. The more the whales scream, the more the crowd seem to enjoy it. Meat is then distributed to the crowd, and once their freezers are crammed full, the rest is left on the beach to rot.
replica guns are being converted into real guns. They are easily available and require no license. They are toys that kill. Visit mothersagainstguns.net and help us get a total ban of replica guns. <laughs> Thank you, Mummy. Oh, darling. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Mummy. <laughs> Thank you, Mummy. <laughs> Thank you, Mummy. Leave it there, Thank you, Mummy. Oh. The smoke and fumes from a house fire can kill a child in under a minute. Wake up. Get a smoke alarm. This is the sound of a car crashing into a parked car at 30 miles an hour. Here it is again in slow motion. That strange sound was the back seat passenger who wasn't wearing a seatbelt hitting the seat in front. That thud is the sound of the passenger's head hitting the driver. That's the sound of the driver being crushed by the weight of the passenger. The weird cracking was the passenger's thigh bone breaking as their knees hit the seat. That's the sound of the passenger having killed the driver sitting back down again. And that's the sound of a rear seatbelt being fastened. They saw it. Throat cancer. They've come in and removed my voice box. Before they did this, they found out I got lung cancer as well. And the future plans right now are Alexander, my oldest, is coming over here for a holiday December 13th. I will be alive for that. Call 0800-169-0169. These two creatures are white rhinos. They're almost the last of their species. Though the hunting and exploitation of the rhino has been banned worldwide, one country continues to trade in poached rhino horn. Tell Taiwan who don't want the rhino to die. I am dying from motor neurone disease. Every day I'm more helpless as my muscles waste away. There is no cure for my disease and no hope for me. But I want there to be hope for others. I don't think I've ever felt as desperate as I did last night when I could hear the gun going off. You know, I want, I want people to know, that's why I've come up here. Don't be dizzy. It is the most frightening, terrifying, soul-destroying experience you can ever live through, other than losing husband, home and daughter.
I got up this morning at seven o'clock and, you know, I looked out of the window and there's nothing. It's, it's died. Unless, like me, you work with livestock every day of the week. I'm sorry. What used to be a shed full of lively animals looking for the silage and barley at this time of day is just now a shed full of death. by name, all of you. You can't now just see him over there now, your legs sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> I got up this morning and I broke down. Got out of bed to cry now. Got out of bed because enough to go to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> take my eyes off you. Clear that you were driving too fast to cope with the unexpected. The faster the speed, the bigger the mess. From the Road Safety Authority, supported by Hibernian. Elena didn't think anyone would hurt her. Elena trusted everyone. Maria doesn't trust anyone. Elena wanted to learn English. Maria gets beaten if she says no. Elena worked in a market to support her family. Maria works for nothing. Elena wanted to help people and be a nurse. Maria services up to 40 men a day. Elena used to cry when her father was cross with her. Maria doesn't feel anything anymore. Elena's family thinks she's dead. Help me. I was Elena. I am Maria. Help me. I'm here.
forget about it. She can't even sleep. She heard a kid at school say you were a murderer. I don't know what to tell her. How am I supposed to explain that you killed a little boy? I won't ever understand why you had to try. Now everything screwed up. Isn't it? Well, isn't it? Look at me! There's just a huge void and there's nothing to fill it. Nothing at all. The driver had been drinking and just smashed his car in the back of Michelle's car and she died of head injuries. Oh, she was lovely. She was full of energy, full of enthusiasm. Even if I could just hold her hand for five minutes or tell her again how much I love her or just touch her hair, I'd, I would give the world for that. What are you drinking? Same again? Yeah. No, not for me. What? I'm driving. I'll get pulled. Not on a Sunday. Uh, get me a half. Half is what girls drink. What's the problem, man? I've got to get down my mum's for dinner. Oh, his mum's for dinner. Mummy's bought. Come on, Dave. Just one more. All right, then. Get me a pint. Come on, Dave. Just one more. Will everyone please take their seats? Very shortly, your row will be divided into units of three. Do not obstruct the gangways whilst the cages are installed. There is no cause for alarm. These cages are for your protection. Please cooperate with the surgeons. They will remove your teeth and nails. This greatly reduces the incidence of cannibalism. It is in your interest to comply. Eating, sleeping, and defecating may cause some discomfort, but your space allowance complies exactly with government regulations, and you have the satisfaction of knowing that you are part of one of the world's most cost-effective production systems. You have nothing to worry about. This system has been tested on 45 million specimens, with, I might add, your approval. Welcome to the battery. Please give us a pound, or we'll have to pull the trigger. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Is she going to be all right? Look, make her be all right. Calm down. You're the driver of the vehicle, sir. No pulse, no response. Oh. 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 Have you been drinking, sir? Just a quick one. Clear. I thought I'd up. be OK. Stand clear. Charging up. Stand She's clear. She's going to be on. They're doing the best they can. Still no pulse. Still no response. People's not reacting. Still nothing. The patient is now asystolic. I didn't mean it. Oh. <laughs>
please keep matches away from children. Sometimes we can't bear to look either, but cruelty to children can be stopped, and with your help, it can be stopped forever. Please support the NSPCC's new Full Stop campaign. insurance. This is Sally Matu. Every day she grows stronger and stronger. In recent years and against overwhelming odds, infant deaths have been reduced by 30%. Soon, Sally Matu will be inoculated to protect her from polio, measles, and diphtheria. But there's one killer we can't inoculate her against.
What's this? Hey, you had a day, have you? Hey, you've been sitting all day watching telly. <laughs> now, what the hell are you up to? Look at the state of this place. Look at the state of it. Look at it. Oh. What did I tell you about running indoors? All right? What did I tell you? There you are. What are you up to? I'm I just asked you what you're up to. Get out! I'm sorry, you don't let <laughs> You dirty b****! Get out! Get out! Get out! You f***ing rock! Get out of here! After an attack is over and the all clear has been sounded, arrangements will be made as soon as possible to treat any people who are ill or injured. Listen to your radio. Details will be given about what to do, when to do it, and how. If anyone dies while you are kept in your fallout room, move the body to another room in the house. Label the body with name and address and cover it as tightly as possible in polythene, paper, sheets or blankets. Tie a second card to the covering. The radio will advise you what to do about taking the body away for burial. If, however, you have had a body in the house for more than five days and if it is safe to go outside, then you should bury the body for the time being in a trench or cover it with earth and mark the spot of the burial. There was no intent. It was never meant to happen. But, yes, I killed somebody. I was driving home in the morning when I thought I was okay, but obviously I wasn't. I've left a husband and children without a mother and a wife, and I've got to live with that for the rest of my life. Very vivid nightmares. More realistic than anything I can actually remember. I'm just very sorry for my victims. The, the husband and the children and her family. Madam? The outcome of a sentimental impulse could mean a sentence of death for the animal you love and couldn't leave behind, and for you or someone like you, death in a manner that is beyond description. Whichever way you look at it, rabies means death. to assist the hundreds of ordinary British holidaymakers left to rot in foreign jails.